This is a 2013 Fernando de Cascadia and we having a problem. The problem the, the problem is then uh, we have a misfire on cylinder number four. The misfire is happening because we have an intake uh, valve leak. So in the intake area, the valves are leaking when the compression is happening. So there is the most common reason why that happens is because there is uh, the lash of the intake valves are very tight. There is no play between the valve and the rocker arm and um, this happens to cause this kind of problem. So whenever you start the truck in the morning, you wanna heal that little leak like in the morning in this area is because we have a, ball, a bad adjustment. The valves are not adjusted enough and we uh, have to fix that. But here is the issue on this one. And that is what I'm going to explain to you. If you already inspected the intake valves and you already inspected everything and the problem is still and it doesn't go away, the sound still persists there. So that means then we have a different problem. In this case, that is the problem with this DD15 engine then has a broken cylinder valve. And as you can see on the screen right now, we are going to introduce our endoscope camera inside the engine, the combustion chamber on cylinder number four to inspect. And once we get there, we are going to see all the damage that is happening inside the cylinder and clearly we are going to see the damage on the cylinder valve the cylinder number four specifically intake side there is only one valve that has the damage but it is big enough to cause misfire the reason why the misfire is happening because when at the moment that the compression of the piston is coming up the leak of the intake valve is too big and it causes this much um, problems. The solution to this problem will be to replace the head intake valves. But uh, it is not just like that. In this case, we have to remove the head and to inspect it because we have issues then we are not going to be able to see through this camera. We have to remove the head completely so that way we can clearly see if there is any other damage than just the intake valve. E the proper solution will be to take this head, the one that is mounted on this truck right now, and put it away, get a new one, and install it because the problem can persist if we just take this head to a machine shop and we repair it but uh, this is a problem that affects many many different d15 engines it's not the first d15 engine that i have seen with a broken cylinder valve especially on the intake side um, it happens very often on these trucks but Sometimes, mostly happen after the engine has been uh, repaired. If the engine has been repaired and the intake valve has a uh, bad quality intake valve, the head has bad, bad quality intake valve, this is going to happen. In the case of this truck, knowing how the history of this truck is, this truck was repaired around like four years ago and the cylinder head was uh, replaced, repaired too and um, there is uh, that, that is enough time for anything to happen four years it is enough time but after four years after four years we are uh, going to get uh, a, you know any time of problems but in this case this is the reason why we have the issue but in some cases other cases that have seen before Trucks have only one year or less than one year with a repair head and they already have problems like that, the cylinder head breaks. So it is not the first time I see it and it is not going to be the last time I see this problem. It's very common to see it on the D15 engines as I said before, but this video is mostly to show you if you happen to have this problem, if you are having issues with a problem just like this, then uh, you already adjust the intake side of the uh, cylinder head and the problem is still the same the same 
uh, sound that is coming from the intake side, like a leak, it's gonna hit like s -s 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 every time the engine works. That means then there is a leak internally. So that's the reason you are going to adjust the valve. If you are already adjust the valves and still the issue continues, that means then we have a broken intake valve. And the way to fix it is to remove the head completely and do a proper repair, which is uh, rebuilding the head or getting another one thing was already rebuilt, which will be the best because this one could have other damage than we don't know yet. But uh, as I say, not until we get it out, we're gonna be able to see it. But a uh, quick video right here, I don't know if you understand it uh, pretty well, but if you don't, just use the comment section below and I'm pretty sure there is going to be plenty of people that could have the answer to your questions. So if you have the answer to that question, please answer it because there is a lot of people that wants to know about uh, the problems that they are going through so they can have, you know, a easier time dealing with it and if you're gonna contact me directly go to Instagram uh, look for me Francisco Maya YouTube and uh, you know what to do just get information be patient and everything when I help the channel check the description of the video I have this is how to check uh, how to send support to the channel continue making videos like this for all of you in the future or as I am doing right now thank you for watching